Hello friends. So this is Sukhdev Gandhi and you are watching GandhiSai.com as a YouTube channel. So now we are going to start today's next series of writing task 2. Yes, uh, earlier we did a series, three chapters we completed on agree disagree types, introductions kaise karte hain and what is the way of making conclusions. So today again my dear friends, today again uh, we are going to start next series on discuss both views. Well, I always tell you not to run in a race when you are inefficient. So always do the things, always do the things slow and slow and steady always wins the race. Similarly, <coughs> today important task is not to complete whole task, discuss both views. So I teach you introduction of discuss both views question. How to make introduction for the discuss both views question and thereafter the task will be given to you and you will complete that task in a comment you will write the answer. Aap comment ke andar apna answer likhenge. I'll check it of course the video will be uploaded at the same time thereafter you upload your comment and I'll check it. Discuss both views means essay questions such type of questions in which you are supposed to write both views but the methodology of writing introduction is same as like earlier also now if you look at the screen here you will see the questions discuss both views see the first one is what you can see that some people believe that it is better to live and work in vertical cities others however think that horizontal cities are better for living and work. So discuss both views and give your answer. Now first of all, I will make you understand what is vertical city. Yeah, what are the vertical cities? Wo cities just may lofty buildings or high buildings on that is called lofty buildings or vertical buildings, right? Now next one is horizontal cities and what are those horizontal cities? Horizontal cities are semi-urban areas where the house is in horizontal shape mein ho, means standing that is wo na ho. so this is that is horizontal cities mean bungalows types ho, that is called horizontal cities now how to do such questions kis tarike se karna hai what is the way of solving such questions see as usual the method is of paraphrasing means first of all you will paraphrase अब आपके सामने क्वेश्चन है क्वेश्चन को ध्यान से पढ़ें इसके अंदर दो स्टेटमेंट्स मिलेंगी वन इज सम प्रेफर टू लिव इन द वर्टिकल सिटीज फॉर लिविंग एंड वर्क एंड सम प्रेफर बेटर इज टू गो फॉर हॉरिजॉन्टल सिटीज फॉर लिविंग एंड वर्क राइट नाउ दीज आर टू स्टेटमेंट्स व्हेन यू लुक एट दीज टू स्टेटमेंट्स द फर्स्ट जॉब इज पैराफ्रेज पैराफ्रेजिंग मींस यू आर सपोज टू राइट इन योर ओन लैंग्वेज इसके ऊपर अच्छे से मैंने वीडियो बनाई हुई है आप पहली वाली वीडियो को देखें कि किस तरह से पैराफ्रेजिंग है ऑफ कोर्स आई गिव यू सम टास्क आल्सो पैराफ्रेजिंग इन फ्यूचर एज वेल नाउ हेयर आर मोटिव इज टू मेक इंट्रोडक्शन पैराफ्रेजिंग करनी है नाउ व्हाट इज दिस पैराफ्रेजिंग चेंज योर ओन लैंग्वेज सी द फर्स्ट वन आई हैव मेड फॉर यू दैट हाउ द लैंग्वेज कैन बी मोल्डेड नाउ इफ यू लुक एट द स्क्रीन सीन द इंट्रोडक्शन इज रिटन देयर इटसेल्फ व्हाट इज दैट प्रेजेंस ऑफ ग्लोबल वर्क कल्चर and living is now in urban areas means presence of global work culture and living is now in urban areas where skyrocketed buildings can be seen now this is the first paraphrase that depicts the same sentence which is in the introduction ab wahan pe diya while ya rather than de sakte hain ab yahan pe aap wills bhi use kar sakte hain wills means again it's a comparison so you can use this word wills now how it is wait wills some holds an opinion semi urban areas are good to reside and for the jobs now if you look at this second line this second line is same as the second line of the question it means this is called paraphrasing what i have done i have just changed the language of the statement in my own language अब देखिए अभी तक मैंने कुछ भी अपना ओपिनियन नहीं दिया है उसने क्या पूछा वॉट इज आस इन क्वेश्चन डिस्कस बोथ व्यूज मैंने दोनों व्यूज को डिस्कस किया पैराफ्रेजिंग करके एंड नेक्स्ट वन इज इट इज आस्ट 
give your opinion. If it is asked to give your opinion, it means you are supposed to give your opinion in the introduction as well. Now see, in my opinion, what is that? Exposure of work and job is more in the metropolitan cities. Exposure of job and work is more in metropolitan city. That is my opinion. अगर आपका ओपिनियन दूसरी साइड है आप लिखना चाहते हैं सेमी अर्बन एरियाज दैट इज यू कैन यू कैन राइट इट्स योर चॉइस सो बट माय ओपिनियन इज दिस साइड नाउ व्हाट इज इंपॉर्टेंट हियर टू नोट टास्क रिस्पांस इज इट राइट टास्क रिस्पांस इन पैराफ्रेज इज देयर यस देयर ओपिनियन इज देयर यस देयर नाउ व्हाट इज हियर मींस एग्जामिनर इज इंटरेस्टेड इन योर पैराफ्रेजिंग एंड योर आंसर दैट यू हैव गिवन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ योर ओपिनियन अब देखिए ओपिनियन भी दिया तो मैंने क्या कहा टॉपिक सेंटेंस थीसिस स्टेटमेंट के साथ मींस आर एम सेइंग एक्सपोजर ऑफ द वर्क एंड जॉब इज इन द मींस व्हाट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट एक्सपोजर इट मींस आई एम गोइंग टू राइट अबाउट हाउ एक्सपोजर इन द माय ओपिनियन नाउ इंपॉर्टेंट इज वन सी लिसन फर्स्ट आई हैव डन इसका मतलब ये नहीं है जिस तरफ मैं हूं वो पहले लाइन बनेगी योर जॉब इज टू ऑर्गेनाइज योर इंट्रोडक्शन whatever it is explained in the introduction first line the same is in the there also so that is what is important here right now this is the first introduction so let me move to the same again so let me move to the whole introduction now see what i have written here first i have done paraphrasing that is clear second is my opinion that's clear now listen these what i'm saying twice or thrice so that you come across that how the introduction is made maine pehle ko paraphrase kiya dusre ko paraphrase kiya uske baad maine opinion diya hai this is what i am mean to say hope it is clear so let's we move to the second introduction it is the same way the way that you have done previous one it is the same way that you will do the same right let's move to the second question it is the same as like in the previous question now see uh, what is the next question some people think that teenagers should follow the examples of older people others think it is natural for teenagers to challenge what older people say discuss both views and give your opinion Now, if you look at this question again, there are two statements. Some people prefer that youngsters should follow the old age people, and second statement is that it is a biggest challenge for them to follow them. Right now, these two statements. What is the first job? Two statements will be paraphrased. Now, what is that? See, you can see the introduction as well that how it is made. Some conservative people in the society. conservative people means traditional people or the people who are experienced or the people who are reserved some people conservative people in the society believe that teenagers should go along with the ideology of aged people means they should go along with the ideology of the old people means they should follow the steps of the old age people wills young minds these days like to make their own path young minds make their own path so these two introductions sorry these two statements are paraphrased when these two para statements are paraphrased according to the statement means my first job is done my first step is over yes what is my opinion now pucha gaya gaya discuss both views and give your opinion now what's my opinion now opinion is in my view walking on the footprints of aged people walking on the footprints of aged people emerge life skills means this is called my thesis statement and my view so emerge life skills is a life skills a topic sentence it means that i am going to write my opinion how life skills in the paragraph now this is how the introduction for the discuss both views can be made ab dekhiye पहले वाले क्वेश्चन और अब वाले क्वेश्चन में देखिए क्या हमारा पर्पस सो हो गया इफ आर पर्पस इज सॉल्व वॉट एवर द एग्जामिनर हैज आस्ट हैव वी कंप्लीटेड उसने पूछा डिस्कस बहुत व्यूज वी हैव डिस्कस इन शॉर्ट 
एज ए पैराफ्रेजिंग उसने पूछा वॉट इज योर ओपिनियन मैंने अपना ओपिनियन भी दे दिया सो दिस इज हाउ द इंट्रोडक्शन कैन बी मेड राइट सो दीज टू इंट्रोडक्शन आई फील दैट यू हैव अंडरस्टड इफ यू हैव नॉट अंडरस्टड ट्राई अंडरस्टैंडिंग अगेन लिसन द होल वीडियो देन यू विल कम टू नो अबाउट इट दैट हाउ द इंट्रोडक्शन कैन बी मेड इफ यू हैव अंडरस्टड मूव टू द नेक्स्ट एक्सरसाइज एज यू आर सींग ऑन द स्क्रीन देर टू क्वेश्चन These two questions are self practice. आप अच्छे से ध्यान से ये दो क्वेश्चन को देखें ये दो क्वेश्चन के बाद आपको क्या करना है वॉट इज योर जॉब राइट द आंसर ऑफ इट इन ए कमेंट आई विल चेक इन द नेक्स्ट वन आवर इट्स ऑलवेज एन एक्सरसाइज फॉर यू सो दैट योर इंट्रोडक्शन कैन बी करेक्टेड एंड यू गेट अ कॉन्फिडेंस दैट योर इंट्रोडक्शन इज राइट और रॉन्ग डू नॉट वरी इफ यू आर अन एबल टू राइट इंट्रोडक्शन I would suggest you read the comment of others, or if I make correct of someone, you will see that, or say directly, "No, sir, I will write the whole introduction of that question." But learning is very important. If you are not learning, then there is no way. Yes, my dear students, or my dear subscribers, if you are listening, really it is appreciating if you like this video, share this video to your neighbors and dears. comment it right if you are appreciated your words are appreciated your comments will be appreciated right so thank you now do the exercise the question that are written on i'm going to speak those questions too some people say that e books are the death of paper books and some think paper books will never never disappear discuss discuss both views and give your opinion now what's the next one having more money and less free time is better than earning less money and having more free time again i'm repeating having more money and less free time is better than earning less money and having more free time discuss both views and give your opinion very easy question means just need to spend time do not in a haste ki mujhe 5 minute mein banane 10 minute आराम से बनाइए दस मिनट पंद्रह मिनट लगाइए बट एडवाइज यू नॉट टू सी फ्रॉम एनी वेयर एनी फ्रेंड और कॉपेड फ्रॉम द गूगल सो राइट योर वे राइट योर ओन एक्सप्रेशन सो दैट इट वुड बी फ्रूटफुल फॉर मी टू चेक एंड टू यू ऑल्सो एज वेल सो थैंक यू फॉर टू डिस लेसन एंजॉय योर टाइम बाय बाय टेक केयर सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट सेशन